Hello and welcome. We're glad you've expressed a special interest in our RV products, our company, and the many services that we can provide to you. I'm Don Strollo. And I'm Mark Strollo. In the next few minutes, we're going to give you a fascinating look into the heritage that has been the cornerstone of our founding, our growth over the years, and the quality products we sell. The RV lifestyle is an exciting, fun, and family-oriented environment. If you're not already an RV owner, then your decision to join the many thousands who experience the joys of RVing every day will be one you will never forget. RVing isn't just traveling down the highway, pulling a rig behind you, or motoring along in a motorhome. It's about the many different journeys and incredible adventures you'll enjoy along the way. It can be as simple as tailgating with your friends at a local game, or it can be a family trip to that one special place that you've long dreamed about. But whatever your unique experience will be, it's one that we can help put you in. So sit back, relax, and let's go take a look at what makes the RV lifestyle the choice you'll never regret. There's a call beckoning. It might come from over a red rock mountain or through the pine branches of a deep green forest or maybe even from your own backyard. But there is a call and those who answer fully, deeply are shown an entirely new realm, the world outside. Boy, when I think of camping, I think of waking up in the morning, have breakfast, cooking on the stove. Everybody's on a tight time schedule, picking up kids, getting to work on time, meetings, things like that. When you go camping, you get to a campground, boom, you're there. It gets them away from their home environment, even if it's just a short distance. puts them into a brand new setting where they can enjoy the outdoors, sit around a campfire, uh, interact with each other. It's an adventure. Each time you go, something new happens, you meet new people, come closer together as a family. For me, it's kind of a perfect fit. With the RV, you have a lot of the things at home. You have the bathrooms and the showers and the beds and things where you're not really just out in a tent in the wilderness. I think it's good for kids because they get to see their mom and dad more than they probably do during the week. That was one of our dreams, of having a family-oriented type of a business and also a, a livable unit for families. My father, about 30 years ago, was a police officer. And when you're a police officer, especially back then, you're probably not paid as much money as you should be. And with five little boys running around, he's always looking for extra money uh, for, the, for the family. And he started by renting out our pop-up camper. And he started in his basement started with our little pop-up, rented it out by the day, and then by the week, and then eventually got to the point where he wanted to purchase a motorhome, a used motorhome. And then he had the used motorhome and the pop-up in front of the house. And it literally grew from there to the point where he acquired a travel trailer, and he had three RVs in front of the house. And then mom said, get the RVs out of the way from front of the house, and he got a, a dirt lot. Uh, which actually we still have today. Uh, that's our, our storage lot in, uh, on Exchange Street. I think, uh, you know, having four brothers, it was uh, the thing to do. You know, we, we often took our summer trips camping and we liked it, you know, so I think that's probably part of it. Well, my dad's an interesting guy. Uh, I think uh, having five brothers, it's very interesting to see a little bit of my father and each of us in different ways. Uh, my father is a gentleman who is, uh, has the ethics of, of the Pope, I think, uh, yet the business tenacity of, of uh, Warren Buffett. The reason why I think he did that was because it was close to home, uh, so he could be, you know, at the dealership and relatively close to home, living in Albany as well. She was uh, also very, very hardworking, you know, and she worked in all different aspects of the business and really had a big impact on, uh, from the beginning, the whole sales end of it because she could relate to uh, the whole idea of camping and family atmosphere. So uh, it's been an impact all the way through and still is to this day. The dream started almost 40 years ago in a small rural community of Middlebury, Indiana, a Midwest gem known more in 1968 for Amish population than RV innovation. 
but an Amish-born man named Lloyd Bontrager was planning to change all of that. My father grew up Amish. At 16, he uh, kind of went out on his own and, and never, never rejoined the church. The Amish and Mennonite people have learned a real work ethic. Lloyd worked in building RVs with the StarCraft, and I would say, Lloyd, you know, you could do this on your own. Lloyd was one with a real can-do attitude. If he had an idea, he was either going to think about doing it himself or get somebody to do it. He had an idea on a lift system for a fold-down camper. He had developed a lifter system, and it was workable, it was doable, it was good. It was one that was totally self-contained within the body of the camper, removing all the mechanicals from the exterior of the coach, which would be exposed to road salts and grime and moisture from travel. He wanted it to be very secretive. So myself, my brother went, and we frosted all the windows so no one could spy. I was still in high school and I would often sit around with him evenings helping him work on the prototype that he was developing. We started the business on the family farm. My mother and father cleaned out two chicken houses and a barn and that was our assembly line and production area. January the 1st, 1968, we were on our own. I discovered I was pregnant about the same time and I didn't know if we had insurance. That was the only scary part. By the end of August, we had 15 employees, and we had built 132 units. He would take off weekends with the car and pulling a camper, and never came home with one because he sold it. And all of a sudden, well, what are we going to name it? It should be something simple like J, like your middle name. A friend of ours says, well, sometimes you hook company like Co on. Oh, Jayco, that sounds wonderful. Well, our first store actually started in Albany, New York. Uh, we actually have our first location still under control of our company today. It was actually a, a, literally a dirt lot uh, on Exchange Street in Albany. And for those people who know Albany, New York, uh, Exchange Street is literally a, a, an older part of town. A lot of, uh, a lot of character to it and that kind of stuff, but it's really an old section of town, more industrial. And uh, we're pretty proud to have started there because it just really gave us the roots of, of working hard. We started out as a rental company and we initially started selling uh, a, a brand of pop-ups and a brand of van campers in the beginning. The Jayco name was an instant hit and Lloyd's lifter system would prove to be revolutionary. After producing just 132 pop-ups the first year, we produced over 1,000 campers in 1969 and would soon add travel trailers and motorhomes to the lineup as we quickly outgrew the old chicken house. It took on very well. Uh, that certainly was a large piece of our early, early success. The other piece of the success was just my father's uh, business ethics. His uh, motto was treat others like you'd want to be treated yourself. And that was very obvious and evident in his business dealings. Lloyd was a neat guy. I remember him walking around when we came to meetings. A warm person wanting to get to know everybody. Some customer stopped in here one Saturday and he happened to be here in his work clothes. They thought the janitor was here and took care of them. That was just the way he, uh, he was. Under Lloyd's unassuming guidance, Jayco entered the 1980s with a reputation as the source for well-built, livable RVs. I literally started as a, a for those of people who don't know, a detailer is a cleaner. I was a cleaner in the RVs, and uh, my dad used to tell me, you can't run the company until you know what the janitor is doing, and I think he was, he was right. I personally started uh, about 15 years ago uh, working in the rental department. Uh, doing all the things that, uh, again, laid the groundwork for our work ethic, uh, which started with my father, but, uh, you know, doing the, the tough jobs, cleaning showers and bathrooms and getting RVs ready for rental. Over the years, we have succeeded when other companies have failed, partly because of our simple philosophy of treating others as they would want to be treated and partly because of the excellence of our RV product. 
Jayco has grown from modest roots on a simple farm to become the largest privately owned manufacturer in the RV industry, which means we can put all of our efforts into one goal, providing families with America's most livable RVs. To have a livable unit, it has to be pleasing to the eye, it has to be comfort, a feeling of home. To me, livable means the floor plan is very useful, it's very practical, the decor is uh, certainly appealing, and it just feels like it's a home away from home. And a lot of thought and care is placed into the layout of the floor plan, the placement of simple things, the drawers and the towel holder. Some of the things that I get from customers, a lot of times when they walk into a Jayco, they can feel the warmth of the trailer. They can feel that, hey, this could be our home away from home. The layout was what we wanted, and so we decided to go with it. It just makes for a nice family environment. One of the primary reasons a customer will come back is that they had a good experience. So that's what we try to achieve. Many companies in this business have come and gone. We're still a family-owned company. We've been here 38 years. We'll be here a long time. I just believe we, uh, we have the best people and the best product in the marketplace. I had a gentleman come in and he bought a Jayco from me. And when I asked him why, he told me every time he went camping in tents, he looked around the campground and he seen more older Jaycos than anything. And that told him that they were built to last because people were still using them. The Jayco name for me has always been equated with a quality product and we've enjoyed every moment that we've had the Jayco. It's very pleasing to know that we're building a product that can provide that positive family experiences to people that choose to buy a unit. I think the transition came when myself and a couple of my brothers really decided, hey look, this is a, this is a great industry. It's a great career. It's, it's a business where you literally let people follow their dreams. We have people that come in every day that say, I've been wanting to buy an RV for 20 years. And we're able to get them that RV and they have a great time. And I think that the transition really came when we took it from small business to a, a larger company. A lot of what started the company and really got it going is still what drives the company today. Uh, my father's hard work uh, 25 years ago is uh, one of the main reasons for our continued success now. Um, that same type of attitude towards working hard and working for a customer uh, is still, uh, still visible today. I think that when you look at an organization or a team or a successful company, you look at not just one person, but maybe the three or four people behind that person. So although I'm the president, I took over the business at that time, I couldn't do it without my brothers or the, the really dedicated staff that we have today. My name is Drew Kozinski and I live over here in Walkerton, Indiana. This is my wife, Kimberly. We're both school teachers. Our children here, you got Jacob there, he's 14 years old. That's his buddy Keith, and this is Sarah. They're really in the sports. We've been campers for a long time. We started out with tents. And that was good, but it would always rain, and a couple times we had everything soaking wet. We went to pop-ups. We got five people in the family now, and so the pop-up is a little too small. We looked at some other vendors and looked at some of their campers and we didn't think that quality was that good for the price. A little, left a little, a little bit. bit to the left. Maybe get it. We heard a lot of good things about Jayco. We decided to go with a 29-foot travel trailer. It's a lot better than sleeping in a pop-up. The uh, inside of one of these is very much like home. So running water's nice, the hot water's nice, Heater's nice, air conditioner's nice. We're gonna go camping. We're gonna get hitched up today and head over to Potato Creek. Gotta take hot chocolate for the trip. Coffee for the morning. We're not walking over everything in the aisle way like we did with the pop-up. We got a free DVD when we bought the camper, so that's nice. We like the bathroom. The microwave is really handy. I wish we would have done it sooner. I've always liked being outdoors. It's the kind of lifestyle that works for me. 
I guess we're about ready to go then. You got the keys, don't you? We're all packed up, we're ready to go. Let's get on the road. Once you're there and you get the campsite set up and you get the campfire going, you don't think about what's going on at home, you don't think about your problems, you don't think about work. I mean, you're, you're there. It kind of wipes the slate clean. And then we're going to relax. It just makes for a nice family environment. We've enjoyed every moment that we've had for Jayco. And I would just recommend it to anybody who is in tune with that sort of lifestyle. Jayco is very close to our business in that we see very similar patterns in growth. Jayco is a second generation company currently run by uh, two sons as well uh, who grew up in the business. Of course, uh, we come from similar roots. So we know that with family businesses that come a strong integrity and a strong backing. And I think that when consumers look to purchase something, I think they feel that. Jayco as a manufacturer is extremely special. Uh, they have a lot of things that are just different about them uh, uh, in comparison to a lot of the manufacturers that we, we deal with, um, namely warranty, you know, the Jayco warranty that's provided by the manufacturer is, uh, is double or more than double most of the other manufacturers, so that alone makes a big difference. Also, the company Jayco itself, uh, the way they operate. I think it's one word, quality. Uh, and, and not quality and just that cliche word that you generally hear when people are talking about any kind of thing. I think quality and, and the fact that they look at every single detail of their company, not just the product that they're building. Because when you buy something like an RV, you're getting much more than just that RV. You're getting the manufacturer who stands behind it. You're getting the dealer who you bought it from. And I think you need to have quality in all those aspects. If you need a part five years down the road, you need to have a company that actually can supply it. If you need service down the road, 10 years down the road, you need a manufacturer that has something that's easy to service. And that's Jayco. Well, my name is John McDonald. And I'm going to be your official tour guide today. So if you're ready, let's go. We're going to start out with a visit to a couple of our, what we call, side departments. We have approximately 1,700 employees. We make uh, in-house all of our uh, bed spreads and furniture that goes into our units. All of that is produced in-house and then shipped from here to the various production lines. We are headed over to the lamination department. We're in the lamination plant here at Jayco, another one of our side departments. We make walls for all of the Jayco units. We make the floors, the roofs, the sidewalls. Vacuum bonding lamination is just a fancy way of saying we glue all the components together, they go into a press, and while they're in that press, we suck all the air out of the composite. You eliminate all the 2 by 4s You just have an aluminum frame, which is stronger and lighter. We are in what we refer to as the motorized plant. In this plant, there are 28 workstations. Today, we're going to see them building the Seneca Motorhome. The chassis comes in from Chevrolet, but on its way here, it goes through a company that does what we call stretching. I mean, this is what the chassis look like when they come in here. They'll back them onto these green dollies, and what that allows them to do is to, to, to push the coaches sideways down the production line. Heads up, guys! This guy is going to pick up this floor with this crane, and he's going to plunk it down on top of this chassis right here. We build all our own cabinets, and the chute that you see here is, is the vehicle that they use to slide the cabinets down to the workstation. This right here would be your living area, and then when you get to the back of the unit, that's where your bedroom is. The bed itself rests on a slide-out. People like slide-outs because they give them a lot more living area. Your toilet, it's not usable at this time. <laughs> Once the side walls and the front and rear walls are in place, they're going to raise the roof on a crane, then take it over and plop it on top of the unit and secure it. They raise the roof here at Jayco. Well, 
Once the sidewalls and roof are on, there's not a whole lot to see as you walk the rest of the line. They're putting the finishing touches on each of these coaches. These things are gone over with a fine tooth comb by the quality control people. We do several tests on the units and about every tenth or so unit we take over to a rain boot to make sure we don't have any leaks anywhere. You've seen all the stages coming down the line. This is the finished product minus the paint job. Well, here we are. This is it. This is the finished product. You've got your kitchen and hide-a-bed slide out. You've got a nice flush top range, microwave oven, kitchen cabinets, double sink. Here you've got your refrigerator. You've got a nice pantry next door. This one is ready to roll. Jayco products are at every single store that we have and generally probably will be in the future because they're partner to our business. Uh, we, we, we buy a majority of our products from Jayco. We sell approximately 3,000 RVs a year and I would say close to 2,000 of them come from Jayco. And that's because Jayco cares about their customers. We care about our customers and it's so easy to work hand in hand with a vendor who has the same goals as you have. And I think uh, working with Jayco just demonstrates that. In terms of pricing, our, the way we price units in all of our stores is quite a bit different than you would typically find in an RV dealership. It's simple. Simple is uh, the, the easiest way to describe it. Uh, we're pretty you know, relaxed about giving pricing. It's easy for you to get a price. Uh, I think an important thing in you know, deciding to purchase an RV is, is what does it cost? You know, does it fit my budget? And I, I can assure you that any dealership you go to, any of our dealerships you go to, uh, prices and payments and that type of thing are, are very, very easy to get. Jayco's warranty is double anyone else's in the business. So you're looking at a two-year warranty bumper to bumper on all the products that they sell. So when you're talking about a $4,000 pop-up camper or a $400,000 diesel pusher motorhome, two-year warranty bumper to bumper, almost everybody else in the industry is one. And the next thing is the stability of a manufacturer who's going to be there tomorrow, next year, two, three years down the, down the road. Customers can expect uh, a fast environment when they, when they would need service or need to make a service, a service appointment. Uh, speed, speed is a big thing. Customers want their RVs back as soon as possible. There's things that sometimes need to be fixed and need to be taken care of. So I think service is so important when it comes to a consumer making uh, the, you know, the decision to purchase a certain brand or from a certain dealer. I think one of the things that differentiates us is we focus on what the consumer wants at the time of service. We know that sometimes servicing a vehicle or a motorhome isn't the most fun thing. We try to make it as enjoyable as possible. We have on-site service. I think that's a big advantage of our company versus others. I, I think the future is, is really not going to be so different than the past. Uh, although I look at myself as uh, the new generation with my brothers running a, a business that my parents started. Uh, and that part being pretty nostalgic and, and enjoyable every day. You know, I, I really think that the future of our company is going to be similar. I think there'll be a third generation that comes up. Uh, it might not be uh, a bunch of boys. It might be a bunch of girls, seeing that I have daughters. And <laughs> there's a lot of girls in our family now. Um, I, I think that it'll be very similar. They'll come along. They'll, they'll have new things to do and new ways to do business that, that you know, maybe we didn't think of. But I like to believe that we're continuing to lay the same foundation that my father laid, and that was extreme dedication to what we do, integrity, strong work ethic, and be completely dedicated to your customers. Jayco. 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 America's most livable RV.